Hey guys, what's going on? Adamus Prime coming back at you with episode 2 of how to 5 star Isla Takano. And as you can see based off of the last episode, uh, down by the challenge right there, I got that pretty quickly as far as... Oh no. Our disease has been contracted. Oh well. But yeah, so the no power outage, that was the second uh, challenge, or contract, sorry, that I had grabbed upon leaving you and so within those 10 minutes I've been able to produce enough money already to put the asset containment unit as well as a ranger station so money flow is coming in pretty good I think I'm at about 150,000 or 140,000 coming in every single time so we're doing good on that but facility rating the four stars oh no the facility rating isn't at four stars oh I need a hotel huh okay Sounds pretty simple enough. I think I'm gonna try to squeeze like five hotels here, four hotels here, so that way I don't have to worry about building uh, like an estranged city way up there because you got these narrow walkways into each each little subsection. But let's see here. So I have him resupplying this, right? Oh, yep, it's completely fresh. Oh, it just phased right through with the jeep, <laughs> as well as uh, I should be on my road to to not have to do the cutouts anymore as long as I'm making enough money so there's some hype going on for that now I'm gonna have to build another Hammond creation lab over here and I think right there I'll do that's fine as well as be sure to cuz I'm pre-recording this episode a little bit before or a little bit right after the first episode so on this clip go ahead and comment and let me know if you haven't on the other one if you guys would like to see me redo the the missions as well maybe some of you are struggling with that and would like some guidance or an easy way to do it I completely forget what the missions are but I would be more than happy to uh, help you guys out so let's see so I need to work on guest capacity as well as obviously more dinos more dinos is more fun etc etc so I think in here what I'm gonna add and I think I'm just gonna throw in some very cheapo dinosaurs you know almost like we're on a welfare budget but <laughs> there ain't nothing wrong with that, am I right? So let's see, I don't really need any of these to come into play. Really, I just need maybe... Let's see, because that gives a little bit of rating. Oh, but on these, it really doesn't matter. So yeah, I'll, I'll probably just produce out like four or so of these. Just to kind of fill in the spots in there. And I know that's one of the first dinosaurs you unlock. So, I'll put some of those and maybe some Struthiomimus in here. Let them roam around a little bit. Oh, no. <laughs> I completely forgot to add some power over here. So, let's go ahead and throw some of that in here. Can I get it to stretch all the way? Nope. It's alright. There we go. Perfect. Just barely missed the edge of the building. But I'm okay with that. Alright, so now that we've got this going on, Oh no, I still don't have enough power, huh? Well, I guess there's only one more thing to do. Come up to here. Go ahead and do the outage prediction. Might as well get the 3.0. Ooh, actually, you know what? I kind of wasted some money there on the 3.0. Because that gives a 45%. I could have got this for 40000 less. Oh well, little things to pay attention to. But it shouldn't be that big of a deal. How much power do we have? Eight. Eight left over. Okay. So I still have enough to throw on one upgrade, and that's going to be the 30%, because <laughs> that's worth the 60000 without a doubt. So let's come into here, and let's see, what do I want to put in here? I think I'll just go with a nice Ceratosaurus. Or actually, let's see, do I have any challenges for them, or contracts, sorry. I do not. So yeah, I'm just going to go with the very generic Ceratosaurus, one of the first carnivores you get. Oh, I like the rainforest, the way it looks. So, not really going to need that one too much. Or that either. That's going to boost up the cost so much. There we go. See, so the rating's already going to be over 100. So, honestly, I might just leave it with some tooth hardiness and see where we can go from there. Because that gives the rating quite a bit, and it, I'm still in the viability range. Now I still need to wait for a little bit of money, so that's fine. I can hang out and wait for a little bit for that while I produce out these awesome cheap little guys. 
Oh, and there we go. The guest count is up, so I guess I can start brewing him up after all right now. Just barely, though. Oh, there goes all of the money. <laughs> but it should be worth it, so let's go ahead and release or get cooking a Ceratosaurus. Let's see, and I got both of those guys coming out. Let's make sure they're happy. This little random bird guy. <laughs> Oh yeah, they're going to be well beyond happy, and they can do quite a bit of each other. So, I'm okay with that. So let's uh, go back up to him. Let's get two more. Two more should be perfectly fine. Maybe with a different genome here. Okay. 87,000, huh? Okay. I'm going to go get him going on up. Alright, so... Now, uh, let's go ahead and grab another contract, because you just definitely want to stay upon those. As well as make sure you're balancing them out, because you don't want anyone to intrude and, and mess anything you. up on you. Do what you can to help the security division. All right, so it needs to reach two hundred thousand income. Oh, that's not too bad. That's not too bad. At all. Interested in new ways to all right, take so care of I'll see you guys back cash. once I've got uh, blue, two more yeah, Archaeanorm. Is that the one I got? Yeah, Archaeanorm, Archaea, or Nithomimus. Sorry, that one's a uh, mouthful. It really, you know, I, you know, my kid could say it, whatever. And then uh, the Ceratosaurus has come out here. Has come out here, so I'll see you whenever that rolls in. All right, so there you have it. Just in the time it takes to get the carnivores ready, or the this carnivore ready, and these two herbivores ready, I've already come back up to about a half a million dollars. So I'm gonna go ahead and let those guys release on out. One thing I do need to do over here, though, <laughs> before he gets super upset, is to give him a nice feeder. I'll give him a live bait feeder later on, just due to the fact of money restraints. Oh, that looks hideous. Maybe a little bit of a smoothing out is in order. There we go. I mean, I guess, yeah, I could deal with that. It looks, looks a little bit better. So hopefully you're pretty content. Oh, yeah, you're just rolling in it, living the life, huh? All right. That's all those dinosaurs are still doing good. Oh, and there we go. More income, sure security one. goes up. Awesome. You prove me wrong. Now, something else I want to go ahead and put inside of here is, uh, since I've already got those guys, is why not throw in some Struthiomimus? Super cheap. It adds to the variety. And fully mounted out, it's still really cheap of a dinosaur. With something so little on rating, I'm not worried about any of this, especially when you're on a uh, <laughs> on a nice budget, forty thousand dollar dinosaur, I can I can handle. I can I'm I'm very pleased with that. So let's give him a different texture or er, uh, cosmetic genome modification. There we are. All right. So now we've got that going on. I think we're gonna have to start. Oh, also something I did was I went ahead and specified you know what to sell for what to sell staff etc just due to the fact of you know it gives you a little bit more money you know it, it helps out just little by little especially whenever you start out on this island it it makes the world of difference so I'm gonna go ahead and up the management on these guys now now that I've got more people coming in it'll take the uh, the money down a little bit but it shouldn't be that bad oh and just like that they're already ready I can I, I can I'd be very happy with that, very content. I think I'm gonna do I think I'm just gonna do those two. Yeah, those two should be just fine. Alright. So let's see, what do I have that I need to be going on over here? Nothing really. Oh, actually I do need a power plant. So what's this one? It's still a small, so I haven't unlocked the mediums yet on this island. I mean obviously I have them here, but I'm just trying to use them with everything that I've got here. So let's go ahead and create another one, and I'll just connect it right to its brother. You know, cheapo path, bring it right on across, and now we're good. Oh, look at that, it's even got a nice path coming up here. This is how you start off the island, when all you need is just the cheap path, like it's no big deal at all. Alright, so wait for that to build so we can mod it out real quick. I don't believe we have anything else that we can do down here per se just yet, other than to grab another contract. 
Let's see, and the ratings are pretty much exactly even, so I've, I've only need one for him. Contract just landed on and my see, desk. boom, just like that, powder outages for 10 continuous minutes. That's an easy $100,000, as long as you're not greedy with your power up here. It's, it's really easy. These things take so long to build. Oh, well. Alright, so down here I've got all the dinosaurs in. Let's go ahead and check out the Struthiomimus. Yeah, just as I thought, they're doing just fine. Both of them. Alright, and how about the Ceratosaurus? He is the one that we should really be worried about, right? Plenty of forest. Could use a little bit more grassland, but that's alright. I'm planning on making you a buddy anyway, as it comes. Alright, so this is up here has got to be built by now. So let's go ahead and add in the... Not, you know, not waste $40,000 like last time. So, reduces the risk of 20%, if I'm not mistaken, reduces the 20% risk of outage. Okay. So, let's go ahead and just go with that one. That's perfect for us. Alright, so one thing I'm going to have to start doing as well, is I believe I'm going to start creating into the next area of islands down, or area of, <laughs> the next area of the island, but with the dinosaurs down here. So what I feel like I'm going to do is, let's see, I could probably make, hmm, actually, you know what, I'll see if I can put the Hammond Creation Lab over here. Oh, but then it wouldn't connect to anything, I would need it. Let's see, I could probably just do an angle right here and build the exhibit sideways. That's uh, perfect. Pardon me for the uh, awkward silence there for a second. Definitely had to sneeze. I'm sure you guys <laughs> didn't want to hear that. Down in the comments, uh, let's get sneeze hype. If anyone's interested in that. <laughs> Alright, so everything's coming along pretty nice. I need to build this next exhibit, though. Oh, whoops. Not trying to go down. Alright, heavy steel fence. Maybe give the little dinosaur a little bit of a... Uh, personal room over here. There we go, straight into the edge as well. Zoomed in nice and close to build a, everything that the dinosaur needs exhibit wise. I think I'll just take it straight to this corner actually. Maybe come around a little bit. Actually, I might have to come around a little bit more. Um, no, not if I just put in a nice herbivore. So I think I'll just put in an herbivore. Plus, this should be enough room. Especially if I just take it straight back. Okay. So let's take it this, up this awkward hill here. And then just join it right in. Yeah, that's nice. And then, we need, obviously, a viewing gallery of some sort. So it looks like right there is going to be perfect, and you can cover pretty much the entire exhibit. Other than their nice little forest of shade over there, where they don't need anybody. Independent dinosaur don't need no help. Obstructed terrain restraints always, always. Alright, so let's get that one up. And I could probably just bring that right here, connect it on through, and now we have no issue. Alright, so with that new exhibit being built, and we're coming up on... A little bit more cash flow, actually. I think we're at, at $240,000. It's a very nice start to this island so far. So, if you guys are appreciating it, let me know down in the comments. And uh, I'll see you guys at the next episode. Thank you all very much for watching. Take care.